Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Today we're going to be doing another warm-up exercise and we're going to be learning to draw ellipses. Now, if you remember at the beginning of the course, we started by drawing circles. Circles are uh, round, they're equal sized in every direction and that's because cars have wheels and wheels are round and when we draw cars in side view, we have round wheels. But the reason we draw ellipses is because when we draw cars in perspective, that circle becomes foreshortened. It becomes um, something different. So we're gonna be talking a little bit about how ellipses work and um, how to, to get different kinds of ellipses and uh, some ellipses which are more open, almost circular, and some which are more closed. And so we're gonna start with a quick warm-up exercise and we're gonna be drawing uh, a series of ellipses just kind of randomly placed on the page. And we're also gonna be drawing them at different orientations. You can see I'm keeping my hand fairly loose. I'm not really worried too much about being perfect. And some are more circular, some are more um, foreshortened. And I'm just, just warming up using the whole arm, not from the wrist, but from the whole arm. Not trying to be too perfect, but just trying to, to stay loose and confident. We're just warming up. It, it helps to, to stay within the natural arc of your arm as you're working from the shoulder. So this direction for me works really well because I'm, I'm moving my whole arm together. Whereas if I go this way, I'm, I'm kind of coordinating my shoulder, my elbow and my wrist separately but it can be done. Sometimes it helps to turn the page, but... So we're gonna fill the page with just random ellipses of different, different sizes, different orientations. Maybe throw in a few pure circles in there as well. Just to keep building that muscle memory. And now we're going to talk a little bit more about the science of ellipses and, and how ellipses really work. And so uh, the next exercise I want to do is I want to, I'm going to draw two parallel lines. And I'm going to draw a series of ellipses from pure circular to slightly less circular. to slightly less circular, to more and more foreshortened. But you can see that they, they are all retaining the same height. Now ellipse ha ellipses have two orientations or two, let's two axes, right? So there's the major axis, which is the longest part of the ellipse. And there's the minor axis, which is the shortest part of the ellipse. And in no matter which perspective that we're using, the major axis is always 90 degrees to the minor axis. So when we draw a cylinder, for example, so I'm gonna draw one ellipse vertical line and then I'm going to draw another ellipse and you can see the ellipse at the bottom is slightly more open and slightly narrower than the ellipse at the top and so the center line that that represents the the center position of the cylinder and the major axis of each of these ellipses is, is moving in the same direction and moving 90 degrees to the center line or the minor axis of each of these ellipses. And then no matter which position we sketch these ellipses, so if I draw a cylinder going this way, you can see that far side cylinder is slightly more open but also slightly smaller 
but no matter which way I draw that cylinder, the major axis and the minor axis are going to be 90 degrees from each other. Now why is this important is, is when we're drawing wheels and tires on a vehicle, we're really going to be drawing cylinders. And we'll get into that in one of the later lessons, but really I just want you to understand the, the science of ellipses. So again, going from, going from very foreshortened to slightly more circular to slightly more circular to almost full circle. And we're gonna connect that with two vertical lines plus a center line. That's how we progress from very foreshortened ellipses to more open ellipses. So I want you to do this exercise. Just keep drawing a series of parallel lines, drawing one cylinder that's slightly less or slightly more foreshortened and another cylinder that's slightly uh, less foreshortened. Draw cylinders or draw ellipses in succession from, from narrow to slightly bigger to fully circular. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.